Men have been put in Mitiana town, as I speak right now. And they are arresting anyone putting on red. While appearing before the Human Rights Committee of Parliament, chaired by West Budama MP Fox Odoi, the newly appointed chairperson of the Uganda Human Rights Commission, Mariam Wangadia, revealed that the commission is incapacitated to follow up on cases of human rights abuse and violations against Ugandans. I'm of the view that the Human Rights Commission in Uganda needs affirmative action. We are on life support, and I'm not exaggerating this. The commission needs resuscitation. The commission needs immediate oxygen and blood transfusion, else we will perish. According to Wangadia, the Human Rights Commission has failed to make conclusive investigations because of lack of enough funds. She adds that most of NGOs that used to also help fund the commission were shut down by government. The chairperson of the Human Rights Commission and members are the least paid among all the constitutional bodies. Today, my salary as a chairperson of the Human Rights Commission is less than half the salary I used to earn as a deputy IGG. Representatives from different security organs also presented a report before the committee revealing how they have managed to work without violating human rights. According to security, they are no longer arresting people without making thorough investigations and that they no longer fire tear gas without cause. Public order management operations in favor of diplomatic and amicable settlement of public disorders. Faster development is a continuous activity and the institution is committed to this cause because protection of human rights is part of its mandate. Members of Parliament Francis Mujuche, Mutebi Zake and Agnes Obiga snubbed the report revealing that to this date human rights violations and abuses are still ongoing. Do not really just come here in this meeting and be as if we are just doing some casual work. This is serious business. Torture is serious. People are facing torture right now. As I speak, the people of Mitiana, they are facing it. Over 800 policemen have been put in Mitiana town, as I speak right now. And they are arresting anyone putting on red. And I don't know what the people who are putting on red did to the police. The MPs also want the Inspector General of Police and the Minister for Internal Affairs to appear before the committee to explain the human rights abuse and violations. And Honorable Chair, I expect such things also. At least when an IGP, the IGP is allowed, when the IGP is, is available. If you allow, if you allow phone calls at midnight, that the minister is going to call you at midnight and say, I am not available. When we have written to her, I mean to him, Mr. Chairman, we don't want you to move that way. Uh, uh, no, no. Without, or, 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 if you make a ruling, or, 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 without, to, without at least consulting some of us, we vote about this matter. If it continues like this, Honorable Chair, we are taking this procedure matter to Parliament because we, are, we shall be disrespecting the Speaker. The committee says that they will see to it that Uganda Human Rights Commission is given enough funds to carry out investigations to investigate human rights abuse and violations. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition. When we invite you officially, you don't just make a phone call. 